This is a very short video just to show you the basics of using the logging framework and to show you how easy it is to set up in a web application. As you can see I have a web app here and first let me show you my web config file where I have custom errors mode on default redirect error ASPX so any unhandled exceptions will go to my error page and I have an error page and all I'm doing is displaying error. Now I also have a default page here where I have a single button on it and it's an error button. Error button click is the event and if I look at the code behind all I'm doing is throwing an exception to simulate an unhandled exception occurring in my web application. So we'll go here to global ASAX and we will set up the logging. Now the first thing we need to do is add a reference to the framework. So wherever you've stored the DLL, you go there and you just add as a reference. And now we will put a using statement. And we will add a logger into this class that's accessible from anywhere in the application. So here I'm creating a static logger that's going to log to a file and programmatically I do that by doing something like this. Now I, we can also do this using the web config file and set this up uh, using configuration but um, I'm going to demonstrate how to do it programmatically here because it's extremely simple. Now we'll also put in some standard code down here in application error and this is basically getting the uh, error that occurs on the server if an unhandled exception occurs and I'm going to use the inner exception if there is one otherwise I'm going to use uh, the exception that gets thrown and I'm going to log an error and I'm going to pass the message in um, usually this is an HTTP unhandled exception and so we are concerned with the inner exception sometimes it's an HTTP exception in which case we'll use the exception itself but in any case this this code will use either and um, if we run this application by the way I should mention there's uh, if you want to handle unhandled exceptions that occur in background threads you need to do something else and I have a blog entry about that let me just show you here so we're going to start up this web application a minute on my dinosaur computer here but once it gets going plus it's a little slow because I'm doing this video capture okay here's my uh, form I'm gonna click the button and I get redirected to error and now if we look in the my log folder here this is my log file and it's printed out ouch and that's it. it the it, the basics are set up for handling unhandled exceptions now obviously with the rest of my application I can put code in try catch blocks and log handled exceptions and I can also log user interaction that occurs but it's very simple to set up